In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Great are you, O Lord, and worthy of praise. How limitless is your power, how immeasurable is your wisdom. You have so made us that we long for you, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the King of glory, exalted on high. Come, let us worship the King of glory, exalted on high. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Lord who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the King of glory and exalted on high. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship the King of glory, exalted on high. <coughs> Come then, let us bow down and worship bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Come, let us worship the King of glory, exalted on high. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. But at Mary and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the King of glory, exalted on high. Forty years I endured the generation, I said. There are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the King of glory, exalted on high. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the King of glory, exalted on high. Raise your eyes on high and see, there stands our Sovereign Lord. His glory is this day revealed, His word a two-edged sword. We glimpse the splendor and the power of Him who conquered death, the Christ in whom the universe knows God's creating death. Every of every creed and nation king, in him all strife is still. The promise made to Abraham in him has been fulfilled. The prophets stand and with great joy give witness as they gaze. The Father with a sign has sealed our trust, our hope, our praise. This glory that today our eyes a glimpse of God's own Son will help us ever sing with love all the three who are but one. Today the Lord Jesus Christ shone with splendor on the mountain, His face like the sun and His clothes white as snow. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water, so I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life, in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet, my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice, my soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today the Lord Jesus Christ shone with splendor on the mountain, His face like the sun, and His clothes white as snow. 
Today the Lord was transfigured, and the voice of the Father bore witness to him. Moses and Elijah appeared with him in glory, and spoke with him about the death he was to undergo. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sun, you sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble hearts, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Michelle, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Today the Lord was transfigured, and the voice of the Father bore witness to Him. Moses and Elijah appeared with Him in glory and spoke with Him about the death He was to undergo. The law was given through Moses and prophesied through Elijah. Regent in the divine majesty, they were seen speaking with the Lord. Sing a new song to the Lord. His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise His name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in its glory. In their glory, shout for joy and take the rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and the two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment to all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out a sentence preordained, his honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The law was given to Moses and prophesied to Elijah. Radiant in the divine majesty, they were seen speaking with the Lord. The law was given through Moses and prophecy through Elijah. Region in the divine majesty, they were seen speaking with the Lord. From the book of Revelation, the angel carried me away in spirit to the top of a very high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. The city had no need of sun or moon. For the glory of God gave it light, and its lamp was the Lamb. 
the weight of the Lord. With glory and honor, Lord, you have crowned him. With glory and honor, Lord, you have crowned him. You set him over the works of your hands. Lord, you have crowned him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With glory and honor, Lord, you have crowned him. A voice spoke from the cloud, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Blessed be the Lord to God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abram, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins, in a tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A voice spoke from the cloud, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. In the presence of his disciples, our Savior was wonderfully transfigured on Mount Tabor. Let us pray to him with confidence. Lord, in your light may we see light. Father of mercies, you glorified your heavenly Son and revealed yourselves in the bright cloud. Grant that we may listen in faith to the word of Christ. O God, you have filled your chosen people with the bounty of your house. Grant that we may always find the source of our life in the body of Christ. O God, you have scattered the darkness with your light and have poured your light into our hearts so that we might look upon the radiant face of Jesus Christ. Nourish in us that is hard to contemplate your beloved Son. O God, according to your plan, you have called us to holiness by your grace which you have revealed in Jesus Christ. Through your gospel, show to all mankind the glorious splendor of of an ending life. Loving Father, you have so loved us that we have been called to be sons of God. When Christ comes, grant that we may be like him. You have said, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Grant that we may live united and in harmony and experience your presence in our midst. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God our Father, in the transfigured glory of Christ your Son, you strengthen our faith by confirming the witness of your prophets, and show us the splendor of your beloved sons and daughters. As we listen to the voice of your Son, Help us to become heirs of eternal life with Him, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray to the Lord of the harvest who calls men and women to serve Him in love, that they may know their vocation and yield it. Let us pray, O oh, glory and praise are yours, God of truth and light of our hearts, for you guide your people to the ways of holiness. Help those who follow the footsteps of our Holy Father Augustine to seek you to mutual love and worship, and to be servants of your church as examples of others may follow. Enlighten men and women to see the beauty of community life in the spirits of our Holy Father Augustine and strengthen them in your service so that the work you have begun in the fullness of time may be brought to perfection for the fullness of life. This we ask through Christ our Lord, in union with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Under your protection, we seek refuge, O Holy Mother of God. Do not refuse our prayers in times of temptations but free us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Let us praise the Lord and give Him thanks.